Uh, Nick Fury is one of the fans' favorite characters. Uh, he's been missed. So what do you think that makes him so appealing for the audience, movie after movie? Uh, well, I think, you know, Nick is um, sort of like the guy who doesn't trust anything. Uh, and audiences kind of like his paranoia and how he um, kind of resists authority and kind of looks at them like, nah, I'm doing it my way. Uh, so I think there's a there's a great joy in seeing what you know Nick Fury thinks. And what was your first reaction when you saw this Nick Fury's young version on screen? Oh, uh, you know, I'm kind of used to seeing that guy in a way, not in the mirror, but I mean I've done enough films in in the '90s, I guess, and when we go back to that, I can kind of look at those films and I I watch old films, man, so I see that face more often than not. And now that Nick Fury's origins have been explained, do you think it's time for a Nick Fury solo movie? His origins have been explained? I don't think his origins have been explained. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that happened prior to this Nick Fury. I mean, there's a war and there's all this spy stuff that he did. And we find him now it's kind of in the middle of, you know, a lot of things that happened before and things that are going to happen later. And are we going to see Nick Fury on Endgame? See, now you're trying to get me killed. I can't talk about Endgame. I don't know anything about it. Um, if Nick Fury was face to face with Thanos, what would he say to him? I have a friend who's coming for you. <laughs> um, uh, I guess that you heard um, all this thing about fake uh, reviews on the film. And what would you say to these people that is judging the film before watching it? <laughs> What I say to him? Uh, I, I don't know. I was, it, it's 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 really weird for uh, people to have such insecurities about who they are that they think they need to tear something down uh, before they've even seen it. That they're preventing other people from being enlightened or even being entertained. And well, besides feminist um, topics, there's some point in the movie that the scrolls are. Um, compared to refu refugees? They are refugees. So uh, there's a lot of real life issues on the movie, so what do you think that is the most powerful message of the film? Um, the most powerful message uh, of the film is that war has consequences. And most of those consequences involve the innocent people who aren't even you know, combatants, they're non-combatants. Uh, that um, the, the, the greatest disaster happens to you know, the innocents. So. Pay attention to it. And um, how would you describe Nick Fury's relationship with Carol? Uh, well, um, I, I think they really became close because he helped her find out who she really was. Uh, and she also opened a new world for him in terms of him understanding the relationship of Earth with extraterrestrials and what it all means uh, and what he needs to do in order to do his job effectively. Uh, so it's very symbiotic. And how was working with Bree? Bree's always a joy to work with. I mean, I've done three films with her now. Um, she's always, you know, she's super professional. She comes to work prepared. She's ready to go and do it. Uh, we both have a direct understanding of uh, how much fun it is to do a movie like this um, and how important it is on the inside of this film to have a relationship that people can look at and kind of genuinely feel like you do like each other, which we do, so it's kind of fun. So I think um, that the mutual relationship or the mutual respect we have for the job and for each other kind of shines through most of the stuff we do.